Hello everyone and welcome back to a current household update video. Um we won't we won't talk about how I've not posted one of these in months, three three months or so I would say. So since yeah, since March, April, May, eh, three two ish months, because it's just the second of June. Um look look at this tree. And, um, you can't tell me that, um, a lot has happened in two and a half months. You can say three if you'd like to. Um, a lot has happened. So if you look here, um, last time we updated, <laughs> these two were, like, young adults, and they had just had their two kids, Lilac, who's dead, and her not well um, boyfriend, who they end up having a kid, both dead. The kid's an adult now. And um, Ruben's also dead. His wife, they got divorced. Well, I'll, t I'll tell you more about that story later. Um, who's also dead. Um, I can't remember if Ilana was dead or not. Or Alana, however you want to say it was dead. Um, couldn't tell you. Um, her father was also still around. Um, he, his medical mystery wore off. <laughs> I said a medical mystery. I don't remember if I mentioned it in the last video, even though I've rewatched that video multiple times trying to remember what was there or not. Um, if he was, um, if I explained to you, but yeah, he like forever lived and all of a sudden he randomly just started to rapidly age and he just died. Um, he was a young adult since, like, these kids were born, and you don't even know who these kids are yet. Um, so, let me tell so before, before Ilana died, she adopted these two kids, who are now old, right before she died, like, right before she died, like, she adopted the kids, I went to go play with another family, and I got a notification, it's like, um, Ilana's standing there all like, like, everyone was sad, like, my grandma's upset. Like, I, I think I was playing, like, with Ruben. They're like, my grandma's dead. I'm like, well, gosh darn it, Alana died, and I just adopted two children for her. So that was disappointing, and I got a little upset. Um, so these little lines here, if you're not sure what they are, let me explain to you. These little lines here are, like, the future kids I plan for them to have. Like, I plan for him. He's Tyler, one of the kids of... Ruben and Meredith, um, Meredith, Meredith, I really don't know how I want to pronounce that, so I flip between both, so if I ever talk about her again, just remember that, um, they actually had multiple children, um, so at the beginning, um, of last, at the last video on this subject, um, this was Pitt and Flynn, um, Petunia's tra I mean, Pitt's, tra Pitt's transgender, and it's now Petunia, and he, he, she plans to have two kids, sorry, and Flynn is, um, Flynn's, they're both, um, they're twins, but he's already had kids, he's had three kids recently, Lushenko, River, and... Adrian Erno Bay Posma. Um, so they're all Posmas because um, this is Angelica Ann. She's the town um, <laughs> town uh, orphan lady or orphanage owner. Um, this family's kind of grown a lot since the last time. Well, there's, there's a lot to like catch up on, and I like am kind of frazzled on how much to catch up on. So I talked about these two, Serenity and Raquel. Um, she's now dating him not pregnant with kids so these like little lines like and these partners are like current people who are about to have kids like she's pregnant with um ned negret's kids and this is his family tree just sad little family tree that i like didn't really purposely um he just showed up with people um and then these these two aren't pregnant yet but they're dating and live together um the the Vator family, um, Lilith and Caleb, I'm sure you know them, um, I'm just gonna go like this, and then, um, 
So, yeah. Why is that not linking? Anyway, there's a link there. Um, and so, let, let me, let me, there's a lot to explain. So, a lot of backstories here. He's an adult, he's a little mis mischievous, and, um, so, uh, hmm. We'll start, we'll start with this. This is like the big drama of the family that still goes on to this day because it made an impact. You can tell it's a big story because there's a lot of stuff in their bio. And so, what happened here? And as you can see, he was married before he died to another guy named Kingo. And so, what happened was, Reuben, without knowing, um... Well, Meredith, like, proposed to him and married him and all that. But it wasn't, like, he was like, well, yeah, I love you, let's get married. But she actually didn't love him. And if you look here at her family tree, I created this family tree for them. As you can tell, they all look similar. So, at the beginning here, Esten Lloyd and Teresa, they, um, they grew up in a poor family and, uh, never really understood that you can be happy without money um, and so there his whole deal was like well money money that's all that matters well I want my family to be having money he succeeded in that and he came to his first um, his other son and was like he came to both of his kids and he was like marry into the sauce family he's like no and he was like you marry into the sauce family he was like, I'm good. If you want me to be like that, I'll just leave. So they both went up and left the family. They've just, they've done their own things. So they both became rich, rich men. Um, he learned later in life. Yeah, I wrote these. So they all, they believe they both ended up with a small house. Um, Hector, on the other hand, is the worst one of the siblings. <laughs> right up in the top of his bio. Um, Hector, um, married Heather, but, so, when he became of age, his father, Eston, was like, okay, um, Hector, you're gonna go marry to the Sauce family. And he was like, Dad, I already have Heather. He kind of leaned upon Heather to not be dragged into the family drama. And Heather was like, like, his love. And so... Um, Hector was like, I'll do anything with that. And, and um, Esten was like, you, someone in our family later along the lines needs to marry into the Sauce family for money and fame soon. Like, very soon. And so um, Hector made a deal with his dad that his second born child, who was Meredith, would marry into the family. And Hector, one day, invited her into his business room, study, whatever you want to say, and was like, my daughter, you, and he was very, like, close with the da his daughter, and was like, you need to marry into the Sloss family. And she was like, um, I don't know if that's a good idea, like, I don't know. And so she was like, she like thought about running off and she was like, I could just run away from the family just like my uncles and like, we'd be all, we'd be all good. But, um, she decided, well, I'd get fame and money. Like that doesn't matter. And so she, uh, realized how awful, well, she didn't realize how awful that was, but it's, it was awful. And so she decided, well, I might as well marry into the Saws family, be happy or whatever, but then what kind of set off the drama was that her son Pitt was transgender transden transgender and so she was not very happy with that and really rude to her and so she was like well Ruben, we need to like send our son away who now thinks that he's not someone else he should be it, it was all her thinking, not mine. I personally for all that. Anyway, she was like, you, like, 
it's not okay. So like she made him go to like send their daughter away and drama. <laughs> and so like they were rude to their daughter and like now they, they have a better, like Ruben had a better relationship with the rest of the family for this reason. And so they sent her like she ended up <laughs> for all this drama, and then, like, they got divorced and all that, because they were like, like, you married me for money and all that? Um, so, she ended up going to jail to serve, um, 1,915 days, equal to five years and three months, and she got a fine of, uh, $250,000, and, um, she got that, um, fine, um, because she broke the law with um, false false accusations and stuff like that, which a bunch of real laws. You can go to my blog and like scroll around and read all these bios. Um, a lot of them don't have bios because like I'm more focused on updating all of our children. Um, that's the thing. And so, yeah. So then Ruben was like, okay, well, um, and behind his bed, like the, some of the family doesn't like Ruben and doesn't like Meredith. Some of them are for Meredith because they feel bad for her. And so that would be um, Tyler and Joy, I believe, are for Meredith. I can't remember. Um, but they're they're in like the believe the... yeah. So Tyler and Joy think that Meredith was told to do stuff by her family, so they're for Meredith. Um, and they don't hate Ruben or Meredith. And then they hate Meredith. And then Ruben's sister, who really hates Meredith. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> they ended up, first of all, I haven't even said who they had, who had kids with who. So in total, Ruben has 10 kids, which is why this line, this is a long line, because he had 10 kids. And then I planned for one of their sons, Mac, to have which is my name, to adopt, like, a bunch of kids. Um, so they had Petunia and Flynn. Flynn currently has three kids. He plans to have three more. Um, there's drama with this girl. We'll get to her in a second. Um, then they had Zila and Tyler, who are both twins. These two are twins. Um, they then had Mac and Joy. Th these are all kids of Reuben and Meredith. And then they had Scott, just the only one that didn't have twins. He looks like he has no eyebrows, but his like eyebrows are really thin, if you can't tell. He also looks a ton. Like, everyone else looks like, eh, a bit of both of the kids. Like, I mean, Joy looks a little more like Meredith, um, but he looks so much like Ruben, and especially like Kyle. Like, I don't know what it is, but something weird, they just, like, look alike. But then, Ruben surrogated um, three kids with Kingo, his now husband, well, widowed husband, because he did die, because he was older when he had three kids and got married. But he surrogated three kids with Kingo's sister, Olive. Now, you can just look at this weird, wonky family tree, because weirdness. She plans to have three more kids. It's, it's a, it was a weird drama. So, like, um, what happened here is that Tahi, Rue, and Tatiana were born biological parents are Olive and Ruben, so they were surrogated, but they did have a bit of a romantic relationship, which made it weird, because he was married, well, dating and married, now married, to Kingo, and so, it's kind of, like, um, confusing, <laughs> to say the least. And, but then, if you look over here, Little Gross, they had a romantic fling, and almost had, like, kids together. Like, they were very close to having kids, so that's what happened. But then I was like, like, I didn't even, like, realize, which was, like, really weird to me. Like, I mean, I must have been playing late at night, and I was like, oh, let's just, they'll have three kids. But then I was like... Well, shoot, they're married. And that would be, like, his step-aunt. <laughs> and then 
family would be weird because then they'd all be cousins and his kids would be his cousins. It'd be, like, really weird. So we didn't do that, which also, like, really even had... What, what, why that happened, to explain myself, was the world is so empty. I'll show you in a minute. Like, I haven't even shown you, like, in-game. This is a long video. Anyway, um, Shelly and Shingo, if you haven't already set told, seen with all this weird lots of stuff, are dead. Um, um, there are two little babies, and <laughs> there were babies in the last episode, um, are having children right now. Um, Mackenzie is pregnant with, um, Ned's, need Ned's kid. Um, uh, so, Jinji Sakamoto, who looks an awful, they're both, these two are both randomly generated, but can you see the difference? Like, you can't even see the difference because, like, these photos, like, in-game, they look identical. Might be because, oh my gosh, yeah, they have the same hair. That could be one of the factors. But, like, they have the same, like, facial features. Like, their lips are the same. Their noses are the same. Their eyes are super similar. Their eyebrows are a little different. But if their eyebrows and eyes were, like, the same, they'd be, like, probably equal people. So it was kind of gross having these two get married. But once again, empty world, pretty much. And... I don't want to spend most of my time making sims, which I'm going to need to do sometime soon, but, um, so, Marcy and Jinji had four lovely girls, but before these two girls were born, Jinji died, um, of old age, I didn't kill him, that'd be awful, um, and I didn't even want them to have an extra kid, but they did, I wanted them to just have three, they had four, um, disappointment, um, ooh, <laughs> I was a little sad. Anyway, before these girls were born, they adopted three lovely kittens. This one was a little older, so this one's obviously going to die first. But they adopted Squeegee first, and then they adopted Chestnut and Rentley. This one's name, originally this one was a, a name similar to Squeegee, so it was like, I don't know how to pronounce that. That looks like Squeegee to me, so let's name it Squeegee, which is a cleaning product, if you're not aware. And then Chestnut was adopted second, and then Rentley. Um, over here, nearing the end of this family tree drama, also I planned Santa to have more kids, and then there's like empty spaces right here, there's a little line right there, that's kind of like a plus intercepting, One, I want him to date at least two more people right now, he's still dating, oh, I didn't even tell you that, he's dating Vlad Estrad. um, don't, yeah, don't question much, um, this family tree is odd. Vladis Strahd actually had a bit of a thing with Santa and Erika Yamato, who could be related to Shingo. I thought about it for a bit, and then I'm still like, eh. Um, she died. Um, and then her two kids, currently missing. I was told by my friend, Aiden, who I've talked about before, that when kids are left in a house and die, well not kids, but like the parents die, they're taken to child custody and they never return in the world and they just poof. Um, so if that's the case, um, I'm sad because Rihanna and Matt are both gone. Um, I kind of love them. They were kind of cute. They were cute siblings. Um, don't exist anymore. They're gone. Um, um, Maxwell who was alive the last episode, and she was already dead and passed away, but Maxwell's now dead. Very sad to me. Nick, his son, who was an adult, I believe, at the time, is also dead, and his wife, Julie, Giuliani, Julie, Mrs. Kent, Mrs. Laws, <laughs> um, has also passed away. But they ended up having two kids, who she's gonna get, um, Married to someone and have three kids, maybe two, I'm still not sure on that. Probably three, though, um, with someone. But the lovely Devin, um, I really like him a lot because he's like, a, a, he's an alien, he's dating a vampire. They both want to have a vampire family, it's really sweet. Um, but Devin, um, Devin's dating her, whose brother is Caleb, I've already talked about that. I believe that's everything on here. Yes, it is. Okay, so now I've updated you on all that. I don't even know how long that's been. 
Um, so we'll go over here. We'll start with the first world. This is where I like to just tell you where they live to have for you to have an idea in your mind so that way it's not just like a family tree to you. Who's aged? <laughs> Who are you? Your joy, I know that. Who are you? Oh my gosh, she's already a teen? Oh my gosh, I have to update that. I'm sorry. Um I literally just played for a little bit before this, so I I'm shocked that they like they've aged up. Oh my gosh, she's a young adult now too. Oh my gosh. Alright, well I've already updated the kids. This is where the Posmas live. Um Flynn's girlfriend, who they have three kids, who he had three kids with, who's one of them's now a tween, I guess. Um I believe they're gonna get married soon, but um I'll show you where Flynn lives in a second. Oasis Springs. Um here is where Kyle and Kira used to live, but that's now where Petunia lives. Sweet pea. And then this is where Zila lives. Um, one of the kids of, um, yeah. So Flynn, all right, Petunia, Flynn, Zila, Tyler, Mac, Joy, and Scott. <laughs> okay. This is where they live. That's where, um, that's where she lives. One of their kids, who's now a young adult. Um, over here, and this is also, these all say Bonjourie, because they are all Bonjouries. We've all taken over the world, as you can tell. The world's still sad. He's an elder. I knew that, and I forgot to update his picture. I apologize. Lives here with, oh my gosh, Rue, who's also a teen. What is she wearing? That actually kind of works well on her. Her face is really nice, too. Okay, um, shocking. And then Tahi, Rue and Tahi, live here with their uncle slash adoptive dad. You know, I don't know what I did. I messed up. And then Tatiana Tulip. I forgot to talk about their his his name. Yeah, his name. I accidentally named a boy Tatiana Tulip. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a boy named Tatiana. Just like, no one thinks that on purpose, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't personally name a kid Tatiana Tulip, a boy Tatiana Tulip. No, I'm not, like, against people naming, like, boy names, girl names, like, that That doesn't matter much to me. Just, like, a boy named Tatiana doesn't fit well in my mind. The more I think about it, it's okay, but no one lives in Newcrest, no one lives in Mongolia, five people live in Winnenberg, um, Tyler lives here. As you can see, most of the world is empty, like, managed worlds, like, these are all just my households, and it's kind of sad. Um, so, Baby Girl's still alive, like, I might kill her, she's like, oh wait, she's, she'd be good to have a kid with, for someone. Anyway, sad that I think that at this point. This is where just a few people live. Um, Mackenzie and her huge family, apparently. Um, oh my gosh, these are now teens, and, I mean, toddlers now, oh my gosh, their eyes are so little. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, so, that's where these, these girls live. They're all girls, too. It's really sweet. And Marcy and her cats, oh my gosh, is this an elder? No, he's an adult. Oh, my goodness, I was like, goodness. <laughs> it's so hard to update everything. Oh, I'm not done. It's so hard to update everything. Um, this is where Mac lives, where he's going to raise all his children. He grew up here. And then, this is where Olive lives. Like, kind of just the families take up the homes, because it's hard to move people in. They die, move them out. I need homes. Um, this is where Mackenzie lives with her boyfriend, Reed. Oh my gosh, is that how you say it? Reed? Uh, that might be how you say it. Um, and then this is Sh Sam Ash, you know, as you all know. Um, people still live here. Lean House, where she grew up here. Esmeralda grew up here with her family, um, with her, uh, brother, and, like, the whole, the whole alien side of the family's pretty much grown up here. And she's gonna raise kids here. Um, and then over here, um, Lilac used to live here with her son, and she, she lived here all the way till death. And, um, her nephew... 
yes, nephew, moved into this house here. And this is where Serenity and Serenity, Alana's adoptive daughter, who's now an adult, who needs to have kids soon, with Naki Kobayashi, who shares a name. Like everyone else in this world, um, with um, Morocco, who's Kobayashi. We have a bunch of Kingos, Kobayashis, and like Matsusimis. It's really weird last names. Um, so that's there. Um, Forgotten Hollow um, is where Vlad lives, of course. The Vitoris with Devin. And this random lady, Rebecca, who I moved in, who's also a vampire, and she's lived there for a long time. And so here is where Sendona lives, and then this is, once again, Santa will probably forever live here. Oh, I was like, oh shoot, he's lost celebrity level. I don't think he has. But, um, that's where Santa lives, with his uh, great-something, probably great, um, great-granddaughter. Probably just one great, I think. One or two, um, who might have one kid. I'm not positive yet, um, but she lives still. She li lives there just because it's easier, um, and I don't have to find a home for her. This random vampire lady who I might end up moving into the Forgotten Hollow because she doesn't really fit well here. She's lived here forever. Um, but Mrs. Johnston, Mrs. Dawn Johnson, and you don't know her very well, but. She is Ilana's stepsister. So if you look here, Mr. Johnston, Mr. Medical Mystery, <laughs> had a kid with Zoe, who was Ilana, but then he adopted, after he just lived forever, I was like, you might as well adopt another daughter. And so I had him adopt a daughter. And Dawn here is just... I don't know, she's she's a fun character. But then, Betty's Cult, which is a friend, Aiden, hello, um, you know him very well at this point, I'm sure. Um, Aiden, my fellow Sim fanatic, um, Evelyn Oh No Johnston. Now, this is a story. <laughs> so, he just got on The Sims and made a family, and I was like, well, he might as well put this family in The Sims, and he was like, wait, what? I was like, yeah, you can put this family in my family. We have Santa, my goodness. And he's, I didn't say this yet, but I plan Santa, like, I don't know, marry Big Bird. I don't know what's wrong with me, and it's kind of getting out of hand, but that's kind of the case. Um, so Evelyn Ono Johnston. I mean, if you made it this long in the video, good for you. Evelyn Ono Johnston is his, um, his adoptive daughter. Um, this is, these kind of all live forever. I'm not sure. They're probably dead by now. Um, this is Betty's broom. Don't touch. Um, Big Betty. And, um, Arthur McDonald. Um, so that's her ex-husband. That's her current boyfriend. And then that's their, um, Kingston's and Betty's daughter. And then this is Arthur and Betty. But, like, she was, I think she was put into the foster system. I can't fully remember, but she was put into the foster system and... She was adopted by John. Um, but she's not really in the world. She kind of just was adopted later, and I added in her, her in. Um, but that's kind of pretty much the family tree. I um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you made it to the end, it's good for you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. If you would like to look at the Sims for Cats and Dogs playlist, click at the top right. If you would like to subscribe, click at the bottom right. If you would like to see any of my other videos, click to the left. I hope you all have a nice day, and I will see you later. Bye.